What's up guys and welcome to a quick video, quick tutorial video, um, just to uh, kind of go over how I stream with uh, with OBS and having an Astro Mix Amp, which took me forever to figure out how to, uh, how to get it so I could have my both channels of sound uh, output to OBS and uh, I found I found the way to do that and I found it using this thing called voice meter which I use voice meter banana um, and since I have let's go through here go to my recording de or playback devices since I have an, uh, an Astro mix amp I have two audio channels for voice and um, voice and uh, game sound so optical would be game sound um, and then headset earphone would be like team speak and stuff. So the way OBS works, um, I don't really want to drag it over, but you can only have two inputs in OBS. So you can't have this third audio track for say team speak volume and whatnot. And I've been trying to figure out how to do this easily without, um, having to, I don't know, not use the three channels. Cause I like having the option to be able to turn people down and stuff. So. I found this program called Voice Meter, and basically what it is, let's just drag it over here. This is the program here. You can see this is my microphone. I have it on my input one. It's my AT2020, um, and then I have some. Uh, it has some compression and voice effects and stuff like that. And then I have uh, uh, audio gate. You can add compression. Um, and right now you can see that I have this going to channel B1. That is the output, which is this channel here. It's a virtual output, which is, if I pull this up, which is, in recording devices, is this right here, voice meter output. We have two outputs. I'm not using the second output right now, but this is what's going to OBS. So that's what's being picked up if I drag OBS over here. I'm just going to make this thing here, but um, it's going as the microphone, and I just have the regular sound muted. To do that, you download this program and you open this up. You can set your microphone input here. Uh, and then we have, oh, whoops, I clicked on the thing. Let's just get rid of this. This is the site you get it at. I'll link it in the description. I'm using uh, Voice Meter Banana because it has two virtual uh, channels or virtual inputs. And I need that for this. So if you have an Astro headset, that's what you need. You can also get just regular Voice Meter which is a little bit simpler. Uh, it has one virtual input, two hardware inputs, and uh, two hardware and one virtual output. Uh, but I needed the extra virtual uh, input. So this is what it looks like. And in order to use this, basically, what we have, wait, my microphone's in here. You don't actually have to do this if you don't want to, but I put it through here because it sounds cooler. Um, these two inputs I'm not using currently. Um, if you have like a second microphone or something like that, three or more microphones, you could put that in if you wanted to. Say if you're recording a podcast or something like that. Um, and then over here we have voice meter Veo and voice meter auxiliary. So these are our virtual inputs. Um, currently, I have um, this will be this is set as my main sound, so game sound, and that's why I have in here in playback. I have voice meter input set as my default device, so that's how you set that. So you direct all your game sound and stuff to that input, and that comes in through this channel. Uh, and then I have my default communications device set as voice meter auxiliary, so this is my TeamSpeak. Um, anything that comes through there is going to this. And then so that I hear everything, uh, I have my hardware output set. So A1 is my optical output, and uh, so I can still hear my game sound. I have it set so it's going to A1. So my game sound is coming in here and going out to my uh, digital surround sound um, optical audio port. And then <clears throat> for my TeamSpeak sound, I have A2 set as my headset earphone. So that's what it normally would be set to. That's what, if you go into playback, that's what these two would be. This is my game sound. This is my TeamSpeak sound. So this is my game sound. This is my TeamSpeak sound. We just have to point those two channels at these hardware outputs. So that's what these two mixers are for, A1 and A2, or these sliders. I have the rest, the ones that I'm not using are on mute, just so I don't uh, accidentally use them or something like that. Um, 
there's a lot of things you can do with this program. I haven't played around with the modes and stuff like that. But um, I'm not using A3. Uh, and then you have two virtual outputs. So B1 and B2 are your virtual outputs. That'll be under recording. Voice meter output is uh, virtual or B1. And auxiliary output is B2. So you can technically, if you wanted to, um, if you look over here, I have my voice it's only going to B1, which is my virtual output going into OBS. So I don't hear myself. If I selected A1 or A2, I would hear myself talking. But I don't want to hear that, so we're sending it to B1. Um, these channels aren't used. Now over here, I have it set to A1 because that's what my uh, digital uh, optical output is so that I can still use my mix amp to turn up volume and... Um, or my, change my volume between my game sound and my team sync sound. A2 is my earphone, which is USB uh, out to the Astro mix amp. That set is A2, and then I have everything that I want to record on channel B1. So that's my recording channel, and that's being outputted to OBS on my other, other monitor. Uh, the only thing about this is that you have to... Well, I like right now, I just keep it open all the time and run my sounds through, the, through there, and then I can just... Like, if I want to change my volume, instead of using the Windows mixer here, I just use this, which is kind of convenient. Um, and I have four monitors, so while I stream, I have it down on this monitor to my right, so I can always see it, and I can always make adjustments to the sound if I need to. So, uh, this is a solution to uh, having three audio channels going into OBS. Uh, without using virtual audio cables, which I have been messing around with, and that's what I used to use to do it. But um, this way is a lot easier, and instead of having a physical mixer running all your outputs to that and inputting it back into a stream piece or something like that, uh, you can use this right on your computer. And this actually will work if you output to a stream PC as well um, because of these hardware outputs. So these two will stay here Eventually, I'll probably set up my second PC for a stream PC. Maybe. I don't know. My main PC does just fine streaming and playing stuff at the same time. But um, you can set A3 as, uh, say you want to, um, where is it? Uh, it'd be this one. You would send it to line out which isn't active right now because there's no cable plugged into it but line out on the back of your PC it will be stereo out to a second PC plug that in your mic port and uh, all this audio through this mixer will output through channel I don't know a3 then you unmute that you can adjust it and say you wanted all that to go to a3 you can just turn all these on and now they're going out to a3 to a second PC to record this one goes through your virtual it's actually really really cool and I really enjoy this program and I thought I'd uh, make this video to kind of show it off, I guess. Anyways, if this you found this helpful, uh, fixing your problems with Astro and streaming, give me a like and uh, yeah, check this program out. It's uh, donationware, so you pay what you want for it. Um, you can throw them five or ten bucks for making a pretty badass program. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.